hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel civil learning and uh, today in this video i will be discussing about uh canis method or rotation contribution method uh, and uh, this is going to be my third video on the same topic and previously i have added two more video uh, which was based upon the canis rotation method and the question was about uh, portal frame which was unsymmetrically loaded and a beam and uh, this is also the portal frame but actually here we will be using the condition of uh, symmetricity and uh, let's see how this question is going to be solved and i hope this video is going to be helpful for all those students who are studying structure analysis so without wasting time let's begin the solution and uh, while here while continuing the solution of the equation we come towards the step one and in step one what we need to do is we have to find the fixed in moment and uh, as you can see the beam is lo loaded by udl so fixed in moment in case of udl is uh, given by using the formula plus minus wl square by 2m so by using the formula wl square minus wl square by 2l for cd and uh, plus wl square by 2 well for dc similarly minus wl square by 2 well for be and plus wl square by 2 well for eb you can find the fixed in moment which will be equal to plus minus 480 kilo newton meter now let's come to our step second in a step second what we need to do is we have to find the rotation factor rotation factor and for ro finding rotation factor what we need to do we need to do is we have to uh, use the condition of symmetricity in this case symmetricity uh, is a condition in which uh, the given structure can be uh, divided into two equal parts and each part is image of another part suppose if i am using the condition of symmetricity means if uh, i will break this diagram into two part like this and uh, suppose this is our line of symmetricity then this part can be placed over uh, this part means this part can be assumed as the image of this or this part can be the image of this part okay so uh, in second condition in this step second what we will be doing is we will draw the this half portion of uh, this diagram let's see i am drawing it and then i will find the rotation factor and uh, it is a little bit different from those uh, which i have solved in the previous question about uh, the beam and the portal frame which was unsymmetrically loaded this is a little bit different and uh, i am solving adding this solution so that students can uh, students will have face no any difficulties in solving any questions related to uh, Canis method so let's see uh, uh, draw, let's draw the dia uh, symmetrical diagram and uh, here I have drawn the symmetrical diagram and uh, in symmetrical diagram what we simply need to draw is we have to draw only half portion of the diagram and uh, name the cut cut portion as d dash and e dash here this uh, this end is d d so here it becomes d dash and this is e so it becomes e dash now i will be finding the rotation factor and you can easily notice the difference in rotation factor and uh, here i am going to explain you how to find the rotation factor as you can see in span c d dash d dash is up to here only uh, it is will be equal to i by l and here i is equal to 2i so 2i by span here this span is 8 meter then this will be equal to i by l and as we have taken only half span only the difference is here see in cd total is a uh, total span is suppose l and we are taking only up to d dash as you can see here it is only c d dash d dash is only half so we what we need to do is we have to divide this by 2 
or you can say multiply this by 1 by 2 okay then on doing so you will get 1 by 8 and uh, here cb is same i by l and this is 4 meter so i by 4 and uh, similarly uh, you after finding this k you will need to do summation k then k by summation code find for finding distribution factor and for rotation factor you need to multiply the distribution factor by minus 1 by 2 as on multiplying 1 by 3 by minus 1 by 2 you will get minus 1 by 6 so now let's come toward the joint b for joint b we have three span uh, b c b e and b a these three spans now for bc what we have i by l similar simply i by l and for be is it is only half b e up to e dash only b up to e dash only so what we need to do is i by l and then multiply this by 1 by 2 and then you will get i by 8 and for ba it is simply i by l and is the rotation factor is uh, as by found by the same process as, as i show you for the joint b now we come towards uh, step 3 let's see what we are will be doing in step 3 in step 3 what we will be doing this is our step 3 in step 3 what we will be doing is we will be writing the fixed in moment and its rotation factor and then we will be solving it further to find the final moment so uh, we have the fixed in moment of CD as minus 480 and uh, for D E D C we have plus 480 as we have considerably half span so that is of no use and uh, we have for half a fixed in moment of B E dash which is minus 480 and rotation factor for C D dash is minus 1 by 6 and for C D is uh, minus 1 by 3 and uh, rotation factor for B E is minus 1 by 10 and for C B C is minus 1 by 5 and for B A is minus 1 by 5 now what we need to do is we have to add the fixed in moment of these two term and write it inside so on doing so what we get here fixed in moment of B C is 0 so minus 480 plus 0 is minus 480 and uh, here fixed in moment of B A, B A is 0 so uh, on adding this plus 0 it will be minus 480 now we come to our step second uh, in step second what we need to do is we have to multiply this term number by this number and write it here and multiply this number by this number and write it here on doing so you will get plus 80 this minus minus becomes plus here also minus minus becomes plus and multiply this by number by uh, 1 by 3 you will get the number which is 100 16 plus 160 now what we need to do is we have to add this plus 160 to minus 480 you will get uh, some number and on adding this number with 480 you know you need to multiply this by 1 by 10 and uh, on doing so you will get uh, plus 34.13 again add this number by this number add this number and this number and multiply this by 5 you will get plus 64 and here also plus 64 now what we need to do is we have to add this number to minus 480 and then multiply that number with 1 by 6 and multiply the same number by 1 by 3 and write it here uh, so, so let's, let's, let's listen again uh, add this number to here and multiply this by minus 1 by 6 you will get plus 69.33 again add this number to this number as this is minus and this is plus so it will be subtracted so and uh, at, then multiply the result by minus 1 by 3 uh, you will get plus 138.67 again add this number to this number as these two are of opposite sign though so it should be subtracted and then multiply that number by minus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 5 write it here on doing so you will get plus 68.26 plus 68.26 and here uh, on adding this number to this number and multiplying this by 10 you will get plus 34.33 
one three and we have to do this till we get the repeating number here i have solved this numerical by repeating the same process now we will move to add step four as you can see the num on terms are repeated and i have stopped it here oh sorry here these two number this was going upward this was coming downward these two number and here plus 69.33 it will be 68.62 plus 68.62 these two number are same these two number are same and these two number are same means we can stop the stop the numerical here and we will move toward step 4 and uh, here this is our step 4 and here I have used the simple formula which is fixed in moment MAV plus uh, moment at the near end MAV twice the moment of the near end plus moment of the farther end so here for CD as you can see fixed this is fixed in moment moment of the near end I have calculated uh, this is the final moment of, of which we got after multiplying with the rotation factor twice the moment of the near end and the moment of the farther end is uh, here zero mode as d there is no moment so it is zero on doing so you will get this answer and same formula is used for each and every uh, end or span and uh, now i will be adding one more video one more diagram which will show you the final moment of each and every span now here this in this step we are we, this is going to be our final step and uh, after we this is from uh, this these value are brought from this uh, diagram this diagram by using the formula mab now here what we simply need to do is we have to uh, try, copy the same value but signs should be interchanged suppose this as it is minus 342.76 so moment of this span becomes uh, plus 342.76 this is a b c d e f so as you can see plus 343.03 so this will become minus 343.03 this is plus so this will be minus 274.34 plus 411.74 minus 137.74.1 sorry and uh, this is plus 68 so this become minus 68.55 and this is our final answer and uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, hit like uh, and share if you if this video was helpful to you and uh, do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you want to get more videos related to civil engineering software uh, subjects and uh, thanks for watching this video once again and uh, have a nice day thank you